Hi, this is Jody Friedman from mcpactions.com. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to use the Quick Clicks Customizer from the Quick Clicks Collection. To use this preset section, all you're going to do is open it up and have it ready to go. Then you're going to do your edit and we're going to be saving your own custom presets based on using other presets within the set. So I'm going to go ahead and start out on this picture from Andy from Cray Photography and I'm going to go ahead and start editing it. We're going to open the color section and we're going to click around and find a few presets that look good on it. So there's picture day. I'm just going to kind of click around till I find something I really like. And this picture looks beautiful with a lot of different presets, of course. I'm going to work my way down here and let's go ahead and use Hi Ho Cherio. I like this a lot. It gives it kind of a fall feeling. So we're going to go ahead and accept that change and move on to the finishing section. So we're going to go to the finishing enhancers and just work our way down and see what we want to do. I'm going to do fill flash light and I'm going to do booster shot because it adds contrast. I want a little bit more contrast in the picture. Now I'm going to also try crisp, which is medium. That looks a little too strong, so I'm going to do light. And let's go ahead and give it some sharpening. Let's do medium. For sharpening, you might want to click on your picture and examine and make sure it looks real sharp that way. And then zoom back out by just clicking on the picture again. And lastly, I'm going to do burnt edges. And I love two the best for most things, but there's one, there's two, and there's three. I think for this one, I'm going to go with two. So I've got two on it right now. And now we've got a complete look. If this is a type of preset you would like to use with all these combined things on a lot of pictures, then you're going to want to save it, at least temporarily. So what you do is you come into the Quick Click Customizer section, go to Click Quick Click Customizer Custom Design 1, and you're going to right click and click Update with Current Settings. You're going to have a few choices here. You can start out by clicking Check All. That's going to check all the boxes. but you want to make a decision based on what parts of it you want to save. Really, for most things, you're going to save everything, it, with the exception of exposure, potentially, and white balance. Because if your pictures come in looking a little different, you may want to use the building blocks and be able to integrate those with what you saved. If you wish to do that, uncheck white balance and uncheck exposure. That way, if a photo is a little bit darker or lighter, you'll be able to add the exposure to it without counteracting and you'll be able to use them interactive and stack them. So I'm going to go ahead and click update with those two off. Now we're going to select two other pictures and just try it. So let's go ahead and try this one from Kelly Roper Photography and all you'll do now that you've saved it is click custom design one and there it is. Perfect. It looks great. Now we're going to pick one other one also from Kelly Roper Photography. Click custom design one. And you'll notice this one looks quite dark. That is what I was talking about. This photo is underexposed. In our first video where I go over the entire set, you may remember me working on this one. And what we discovered was it needed one stop of light. So let's go ahead in here and click add one stop. And once we do that, you'll see it looks perfect. We could also have applied the building block because we didn't save the exposure category and then gone and applied that preset. So now it's in there unless we override it with another one. You can also rename these if you would like. You can come in and click rename and actually label it something else. Like you could call it Hi Ho Cheerio plus vignette, you know, burnt edges vignette, something like that. So you know what it is. So that would be the rename button. And that's all there is to it. Let's just try it on one more real quick. And you'll see it looks great on that one too. So that's a really good combination. It would be very useful to have all that stuff, including the sharpening and everything, all integrated into one if you know that particular one works for a lot of your photos. So that's all there is to it. It's like saving a recipe or a blueprint all in one. Put it in a customizer by right-clicking, updating, and you're done. Hope this video was useful to you. This was Jody from mcpactions.com. You can find this set and many more on our website. Thank you.